What's up to all my friends here on YouTube? I'm Chad with CCV at SMC and today's video, you got it. We're gonna be taking a look at the 2014 JKU Sahara sitting right back there. It's a sweet Jeep for sure. It's got some nice upgrades on it. I'm gonna walk you through it, let you see it. And as always, if you're in the market to buy a Jeep Wrangler right now, this is one to consider. Let's go ahead and get the video started. All right, everybody, so here's our 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara package at Southern Motor Company. So I hope you enjoy watching car videos of vehicles for sale because that's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna walk around this Wrangler, let you see the current condition of it. If it has any imperfections or anything like that, I will definitely point them out on camera to you. I want you to walk away after watching this video with as much information as possible to know you're making a great decision before stopping by our store to take it for a test drive and possibly write us a check for it. Upgrades on this one, it does have the factory front bumper, but it does have the Smitty built winch, 9,500 pound on the front, which is a pretty common winch. And I'll tell you, it's a great item to have if you do plan to get out there on the off-road and have a little fun this summer. Headlights look great, as you can see. You got the LED blinkers down there. You got your fog lights down in the bottom. The lift kit is provided by Rough Country, which is again, another popular brand of lifts. That looks to me to be around three and a half inches or so, give or take half an inch, an inch, but it's a good height on it to be able to fit the Mastercraft tires. Those are some nice looking tires, as you can see. Let's get a little close up of them, right? Let's see what size that we have here today on here. So I'm guessing, yeah, they're 12 and a half, so that's for sure. They're 35 by 12 and a half. So that is a really nice looking tire on the factory five-star alloy wheel. And again, most people that have Jeep Wranglers are wanting either 35s or 37s. Also, if you notice back there behind the, uh, the, the wheel, look at that, it's got, uh, it's got slotted and cross-drilled rotors. So, you know, not a lot of people take the time to add those types of rotors on there. And, uh, and they did it with this one. And again, there's those uh, Rough Country shocks and springs right up in the front of this Jeep. All right, moving right along, right? We'll get to some of the more upgrades here in just a moment. Of course, it's got some LEDs up there on the hood. Um, you got the hard top painted to match, tow package. You also got a Mastercraft fifth wheel. So all five tires matching up quite nicely. And here's the passenger side. Isn't that looking good? The color really pops. I mean, that is just a really cool color. Now it doesn't have any running boards down the side and some people actually take the running boards off. It really gives it a nice clean look without running boards. But if you're not as tall as me, six foot, you might need a set of running boards, right? Just to grab a hold of and pull yourself in. So that's really all up to you. But here at SMC, we're not adding any running boards onto it. We're selling this Jeep just the way it is. It's clean, it's got all the things that you would want. It's got an Alpine sub in the back. Plenty of storage space, of course. Padding looks good around all your roll bars. Let's go ahead and start closing her up. Always want to close the top here first. Back window looks good. Shocks work just fine. Go ahead and close that. That's what it looks like, all closed up in the back. All right. This one's got the leather interior in black with the gray stitching, looks really nice. No rips, no tears on the seats. They're in beautiful shape. We also do have the black carpet mats and everything. So this one hasn't had the carpets taken out of it. It also has power windows and power door locks and somebody added on those to help you climb up into the vehicle a little bit easier, right? The doors do come off as any Jeep Wrangler. It's pretty simple to do. They don't weigh a lot, so it's pretty easy to take them off. Also, you're getting the factory handle right there to grab a hold of, and then somebody added those onto the A-pillar. Seats have the Sahara logo stitched right in there that matches the outside. And again, there's your seats, just common wear, which is normal for a vehicle of this age, but no rips, no tears. Leather wrapped steering wheel looks good, cruise control, audio functions. Mileage on this Jeep is right around 113,000. So 113,599 to be exact does have the touchscreen display, automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, and heated seats. Pretty good stuff there. If you're wondering if it's got USB auxiliary, it's right up there. Not a bad looking Wrangler though. This looks good. The front freedom tops pop right off. So there you go. 
you can't beat it with this one. Here's your switch for your LED lights up front. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this one has added on, well, first off, you got this matte black finish Inferno logo, looks good. Then you got these right here on the outside on both sides. Then you got the light bar right there going down the middle. Now these actually can pivot and that's usually what you do. If you're going off-roading this weekend out in the woods, you're gonna to wanna to take those and pivot them out like this to shine out into the woods that way because I guarantee you, this light bar right here is gonna shine all out in front of you just fine. These are gonna be for the sides of you so you can see if anyone's coming down a trail or walking through the woods. Again, some of those areas you go off-roading in, there could be more than one person out there at night or right at dusk. It does get a little dark in those woods even before it's completely dark outside. Under the hood is the 3.6 v6 there you have it that motor came out in jeep wranglers in 2012 2007 to 2011 is the 3.8 the 3.6 is known to have more horsepower and just to have more power in general a lot of folks like the 3.6 if they can get themselves a four-door wrangler with that motor but the 3.8 there's plenty of them out there on the road currently today and people love having a 3.8 as well. Do a few upgrades to it, and you can bump that power up to pretty close to what you're getting on this one. All right, guys and girls, let's go ahead and drop the hood down and take her for a quick ride. All right, everybody, when you're getting in a Jeep Wrangler that's got a lift on it, you know, if you're a little bit shorter than me, I'm six foot one, but you're gonna wanna grab a hold of right here or right here to help yourself get in. And I'll do the same thing, even though I'm a little bit taller. Cause like I said earlier, this one doesn't have any running boards on it. So there's no stepping on that and then getting in, right? You're just gonna climb up and get in your Wrangler. Um, the height is fine though. You know, some Jeeps sit up even higher than this but truly to me, this is probably like the perfect height off the ground. You know, you feel good, you're sitting up a little higher. You got those good looking 35s with those Jeep five stars. You can't go wrong there with that. The AC is blowing cold. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the fan speeds down a little bit and go ahead and get my seat belt on. So if you're watching the video, I wanna ask you, you know, what is it? Why, why do you want to buy a Jeep Wrangler? What, you know, what is it about a Jeep Wrangler? Is it your dream car? You know, is it a car when you were, you know, 15, 16 years old, and you just always wanted a Jeep Wrangler, and now maybe you're at the point in your life where you can get one? Is it that your friends have a Jeep Wrangler, and you want to kind of have something similar to them, and they're having fun with their Jeeps, and you want to have fun with it? You know, what is the reason why you want a Jeep Wrangler? So think about that, right? And I'm sure everybody has their own reason on why. You know, some people want to actually get into overlanding, off-roading, camping, and all that. And, uh, and they want a vehicle that's got four-wheel drive so they can ju do just that, right? So that could be a reason as well. And then there's a lot of y'all that just want a Jeep for the cool look of a Jeep because they look cool. And uh, you'll probably never go off-roading in your entire life, but you want to go to the beach, cruise around town, and just have fun with the tops off. And that's fine too. So whatever you, you know, it's your money at the end of the day, you do what you want to do and, uh, and buy what you want to buy. But I do want you to understand, if this is your first time getting a Jeep Wrangler, you know, do understand that Jeeps are a vehicle that either you got to have the money to pay someone to work on them for you, or you need to be able to have a garage or have tools and be able to work on it yourself. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, your Jeep Wrangler is going to break down all the time on you. That's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is you're going to want to have some fun with your Jeep. You're gonna to wanna to probably do even more upgrades to it. You're really gonna to want to. And it's gonna cost you some money to take it to a shop every time to get this, that, or the other put on the vehicle. So do take into consideration. If you're gonna buy it and just drive it just the way it is right now, that's great. But I guarantee it's just like tattoos. You get one tattoo, next thing you know, you're getting more tattoos. It's kind of addictive. 
And, uh, and Jeep Wranglers are addictive as well when it comes to having fun playing with them and hooking them up. You know, it's like one of the most customized vehicles in the world. All right, let's give it some gas. So this is what I like about the 3.6 V6 under the hood of this Jeep. It's got the power to get up and go on the road, you know? Um, also, it handles good. Look at this, going right around that corner there. Feels good. I wanna show you another thing, look at this. There's another Jeep. I mean, look how tough this one looks coming up right now. You'll see it in the background here. Look at this thing. I mean, whoa, that thing is tough. I like that. I mean, he's got all kinds of goodies added on his Jeep. He's got the gas tank on the back, you know, the CB radio. That's what I'm talking about, folks. This one's got some nice upgrades on it, but you're gonna wanna do more with it. I guarantee it, you know? And wow, wait, there's so many Jeeps on the road, at least here in the Carolinas. You know, I can't go anywhere and not see a four-door or two-door Wrangler. They're all over the place. All right, let's go ahead and switch the view around a little bit for you and let you see out the front windshield. All right, everybody, I'm gonna roll down the window. Oh, not over here. <laughs> Your Jeep window controls are always in the middle, okay? And I do like the tinted windows, which is nice. But I'm rolling down the windows so you can hear a little bit of the vehicle while we're driving. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, sometimes people add on exhaust systems and intakes and all kinds of motor stuff. This one doesn't really have all of that so much. It does have a k and air filter under the box, in the box there, under the hood. But, um, but a lot of them have exhaust systems, which sound great on Jeeps, so you can do that. And you can do some slight, you know, upgrades under the hood. But this one is pretty much all stock. Again, I think the only thing done to it really is the lift kit, tires, and the k and filter. All right, let's give it some gas. Plenty of power, I like it. Now I want you to realize, all that power we just got done using on this road right here, which was just enough, is also gonna be the power that you can use when you're off-roading. When you're going to North Carolina, and you're gonna go camping, and you're gonna go to a park that's made for off-roading, right? You know, you're gonna see a trail and say, oh my goodness, you know, am I gonna actually really attempt to do that? You're darn right you are. You're gonna do it. You're gonna let down some air out of your tires and get them to about eight to 10 pounds of pressure. And you're gonna put this bad boy engaged in four wheel drive and you are going to have you and your friend or your girlfriend or by yourself or boyfriend and you're gonna get out there and have some fun. Get some mud on your Jeep. Really just do it, okay? Now I do suggest you, if you're going somewhere where it's gonna be a muddy ride, <laughs> better put your doors and your roof on and roll your windows up in those type of situations or I guarantee you your Jeep will be full of mud and uh, you know but that's the fun thing about jeeping is getting dirty and all that going home getting the water hose and just washing and cleaning her off all right guys thanks for watching with me so price on this one today if you wanted to buy it is 29.5 for this 2014 JKU Sahara loaded out with just around 113,000 miles. If you say to yourself, okay, I like it, that's the one I want. Can I get financed on it? Can these guys help me get a loan? Absolutely, we can help you. So don't worry about that so much. If your credit's looking good, I'll do what I can to get you a great term so your payments aren't crazy high and get you a decent interest rate. So think about all that kind of stuff. Now do remember folks, Jeep Wranglers are not cheap toys, folks. They are, they hold number one in resale value. So yeah, 29.5 is a lot of money, but go online and look for yourself and you'll see what I'm talking about. A lot of Jeep Wranglers in this price range, in this year and mileage and everything are gonna be right around that price range there. All right guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, are you a Jeep person? Are you not a Jeep person? What is it that's got the itch for a Jeep Wrangler, right? I know what it is. I don't even have to tell you. And you know what it is too. We'll see you soon.